Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make a two number calculator out of Swift, and what you do is, I'll show you right now. Here's how it's made. So, you enter in a number, let's say I entered 46, and I enter 23, and I press find difference, it gives you a difference of 23, because 46 minus 23 is 23. And, let's say I entered uh, two, 1 and 23 and I find sum and sum product, it gives me the product, right? Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just going to quit the simulator for now and I'm just going to open up Xcode and I'm just going to get a new project and it's going to call this two number calculator. Okay, and make sure the language is flip, not Objective C. And you can set it to iPad, which I will right now. And we're not going to use Core Data, okay? And I'm just going to save it on the desktop. Okay, now I'm just going to go to main.storyboard and just have a nice iPad screen. Oops, too big. Okay, all I need right now for the storyboard, you don't have to touch it anymore, is two text fields. <coughs> Say, set it to this. I'm going to check the width, and it's 736, and I'm just going to enter 736 in here. Okay. That's about it. And I'm just going to have three, three buttons. One says find some, or you can say add. Which I will right now. And caught a pick, duplicate with my D. And we subtract. Cut, duplicate with my D. So it's going to be multiply. I'm not going to have divide for now, but you can add divide if you want, just for the purposes, okay? And I'm just going to set the background to a blue color. That's about it, and I'm just going to go to view controller at Swift, and I'm going to have a few outlets. And this one's going to be input one space colon space UI text field. And I'm just going to copy and paste it. And see. And this one's going to be input two. And I'm just going to have an IB action. Let's so say add sign IB action. Space funk space 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 <clears throat> add sender equals or sender space colon space any object like that and inside here I'm gonna put in or er, var number or num1 which stands for number one equals input input one dot text dot two int and I have another one 
equals input two dot text dot two int. Okay, now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have another variable. So I'm gonna call total equals num one space plus space num two and I'm gonna have the last one you know for for that label here. Space var space label space colon space y label and here I'm gonna put oh yeah here you can't just do this because to, you have to unwrap the variable because Swift is not sure if it's going to be an int. So we're just going to tell Swift that, it's, oh, that it, it probably is by putting in an exclamation mark in, in front. Okay? And I'm going to put label dot text equals quotation marks. Inside, I'm going to put backslash parentheses. Total. Okay, this is all it for add. I'm just going to copy and paste it. This one's going to be subtract. And instead of plus, it's going to be minus. And another one. And this one's going to be multiply. And instead, this is going to be an asterisk, which is basically a multiplication sign. Okay, that's it. Now, let's drag on a label onto the screen. Actually, I'm just at the background to yellow, so you can see the buttons ready more. And 736, which was this, or about the screen one size. Yep, and just gonna center on the text. Oops. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now let's link everything up. I'm just going to select sure blue, and I'm just going to have input 1 be this one, input 2 be this one, label be this one, add, add is going to be this one, it's going to be touch up inside. Subtract, or multiply is this one. Finally, subtract. Touch up and set. Okay, now that we're done, let's we're ready to run. Just gonna run an iPad Air. Just gonna scale to seventy five. Um, I'm gonna actually set the keyboard to. Toggle software keyboard, and I'm just gonna call this. I'm just gonna do 23 and 2, and I'm just gonna have it add. And it gives me 25. Subtract gives me 21, and if we multiply, it gives us 46. And that's all true. Okay, so this is about done with the video, and uh. If you have any comments, um, just please leave one below. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.